Mm -hmm. Best drunk. When it comes to the Super Nintendo library, folks in PAL regions unfortunately missed out on a lot of great games like Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, and Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball, but they did not miss out on Hanna-Barbera's Turbo Tunes. This one was released by Empire Interactive in October 1994 in PAL regions only, and now we in North America are the ones teeming with jealousy. Alright, well, maybe not. The only other Super Nintendo game Empire Interactive had anything to do with on the SNES was Space Ace, one of the absolute worst waste of time games you'll ever see in your life, but mercifully, Turbo Tunes isn't that bad, it's just not all that good. I'll start with the positives, it's a top-down racing game made in the style of off-road and it features 30 different tracks with 6 different characters you can play as, and it's 5 player compatible. Just plug in a multi-tap device in the first controller port, and a controller in the second port. There aren't too many other games that could do this, so that's pretty cool. And to the game's credit, all the Hanna-Barbera stuff here is done well, every character looks just as they should with the 6 playable characters being Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, Quick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, Hong Kong Fooey, and Top Cat. You also see lots of other characters show up in the race to interfere. Each playable character has their own advantages and disadvantages, like for example, Huckleberry Hound is easier to control and is great at cornering, but his top speed sucks. Quick Draw McGraw is the fastest character, but his acceleration is really slow, so it takes a long while for him to get going. And that brings me to the actual racing. The controls are kind of weird. Everything is momentum based, so the only way to build speed is to not bump into obstacles or other racers. And if you do, and you will a lot, you'll spin out, and you have to build your momentum back up again from scratch. Personally, I can't say I'm a fan of this style. It depends too much on the shoddy hit detection. Sometimes there's just no way to avoid spinning out, while the fastest racers, Quick Draw and Snagglepuss, easily glide right past everyone. Seriously, in seemingly every race against the computer, or quick draw just blows past everyone like Usain Bolt. One annoying thing about this game I gotta point out is that at the title screen you're supposed to press select instead of start. Select brings you to all the game options and start just sticks you right into a race. If you didn't know any better you'd think that's all this game is, but thankfully there's some other game modes here too. But unfortunately this screen is a mess. What am I even looking at here? Thankfully there's a scan of the manual that explains everything, so I'll read each row in order. The first row, starting with the dumbbell going left to right, starts with a training mode, then a single race, a five race league, and a challenge mode that's a race to be the first to collect 50 crystals. The second row selects either human players or computer players, with the human represented by someone who looks like the obnoxious waiter from Office Space. The third row is which league you want to race, or the difficulty really, with one more circuit you can unlock if you beat the first three. The fourth row is track selection, and the fifth row is where you put your password if you have one. Well, at least the controls are simple, it's just Y to jump, B to use a turbo, dictated by the energy meter on the scoreboard in the middle there, A to break, and that's pretty much it. The circuit races work the same way as any other racing game where you get points in each race depending on where you finish, and there's also a stat system here, believe it or not. Yes, that's right, it's Hanna-Barbera Turbo Tunes the RPG. Well, uh, not really, and again, the game does nothing to help explain how this works, so it's back to the manual we go. The white crystals you see on the track represent points that you can use to increase your turbo meter, your acceleration, your top speed, grip, or how well you corner, and fitness, which affects how fast your turbo meter drains. That is surprisingly a lot of stuff for a game like this, but the thing is, it's laid out on this screen like this. The color of each face button corresponds with each skill, the colors of course matching the old Super Famicom or PAL controller. Even if you're playing with a colored controller like this, or with like an ASCII pad or something, this is uh, not the most intuitive layout. Oh, and there's also a time limit on this screen. Why? Ugh, this is just aggravating. And the lack of music in this game does it no favors either. There's like four total songs in the entire game, and they're only about a minute long each. But still, Hanna-Barbera's Turbo Tunes is pretty surprising with the number of tracks and options available, and the game looks nice enough, but the menus and layouts are just such a pain. I get that you need the manual for this, but even with the help, it's just such an annoying layout. They couldn't even be bothered to put the words press select on the title screen. If you can stomach the irritation of actually setting up a race and figure out the stat system, then this is just a barely average okay-ish racing game at best. It's nice to play with a few other people, I guess, and I appreciate all the options, but I would give this one a pass. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.